This is me in Minecraft, and yeah, I'm kind of poor, but today I plan to change that. And that is because today I built 10 automatic Minecraft farms to help me in my survival grind. Anyways, enjoy the video. So, this all started back on the 8th of February when I was out of food, so I built a hogden farm, and there will be a time lapse of when I built it now. But after I did that, it was time for me to get loads of villagers, so I built a villager breeder, which has since been disabled because, well, I've got quite a few villagers in there now. And yes, a lot of these builds won't have time lapses for them, just because they were all live streamed on this channel, so if you want to find a specific build, or when I build a farm, then just look up on, on, on my live stream playlist. But after building a villager breeder to get infinite villagers, I had to build a stone farm for infinite stone for the next project. But I also built this in the Q&A time, or uh, in the Q&A video, so if you want to check that out, um, it will be in the link in the description. But yeah, this is basically how a farm works, you just hold down your pickaxe and you mine up stone and it all gets collected in here. And yeah, it's pretty efficient, but let me show you the next farm I built. And here it is, the next farm I built is an automatic mob farm. And let me just say, this farm is amazing, I've run it for probably an hour, or an hour, maybe even less. And I've got quite a lot of mob drops, I've taken most of them back to my base. But it's a really nice farm, it was actually really simple. But then I used all the bones from the mob farm for these two farms here. For example, here we have a melon and pumpkin farm. Once again, did not time lapse because it was on a stream, I fell into a hole. And next is a hanging roots farm where I just use my shears and I'll gather infinite hanging roots. And yeah, it's pretty reliable. Next up, I travelled all the way back to spawn to build a simple iron farm. And it only gives 300 an hour, it's by Shulkercroft, but I definitely recommend using it, especially early game. And I wish I had tested up earlier. And it's in the spawn, so it always works. And as you can see, the iron golem just burns, the zombie scares the villagers, and it's a pretty reliable farm. And also, here's the time lapse for it now. After building the iron farm, I once again decided to do a YouTube stream where I built this training pool so I've got leather workers to buy the leather from the hoblin farms and these farmers here to buy melon and pumpkins and it's pretty good, I've got quite a lot of emeralds and it also repairs my tools pretty quickly. And then later on I also got some librarians, they also they have really useless trades, for example quick charge freeze is decent, projectile protection freeze is quite bad though. And I've also got cartographers to buy the glass and I've also got both a woodland mansion and an ocean explorer map which Maybe, who knows, I'll maybe stream going to both of these places at some point soon. And the two final farms were actually streamed, well, built on stream yesterday at the time of this video releasing. And this one's a honey farm. I designed this one myself, so it's probably not working the best. Also, the bees escaped, so there's probably only about five bees in there. And then finally, I built this auto flower farm. I pull a lever, and as you can see, all the flowers grow, and now we have infinite flowers. I also spent about 20 minutes of a stream trying to find sunflowers and failed, so maybe we'll have to find some sunflowers in the future. But yeah, this farm's really nice. It also uses all the bone meal from the mob farm as you saw I built earlier. And yeah, it's a really reliable farm. I don't really have any plans for any of these flowers, but, but who knows, maybe we'll have an idea for them in the future. But I forgot to mention, since the last episode I've been doing loads of building. For example, I've done this like crop area here, which I think is really nice done this sugarcane field which is my main source of sugarcane as I don't really need an auto farm for it just built a nice pond here I think that's really good and a nice windmill it doesn't have anything in yet really I don't think maybe it's got a bit of storage but I built this a while ago there was no time lapse of it but yeah there's a little storage in here but I don't think yeah there's nothing in here just because it's kind of out of the way but I think it's a nice looking build we've got a couple of flower fields here with some lilacs some rose bushes some poppies and some alliums and, you know what, I also built these two towers, but I'll give one spoiler for the next episode. It's to do with this area here. If you've been watching the streams, you already know the project. 
but that video will be coming out in a few weeks. I also did this, and I think it looks pretty nice, just like a retaining wall to sort of push back this land. I still need to build like a tower above this area, as sort of in the past couple of weeks, this has become my main base. Just going down here, getting melons and pumpkins, as you can see here. And then I go all the way over to my villagers, and I just trade with them. And this is my main way of repairing my tools at the minute. And it's really reliable. Uh, I just need to repair this one other pickaxe. But eventually I'll probably switch my food to golden carrots just because of the amount of emeralds I'm getting. But I built a whole food farm so I might as well use it for now. But all these farms are really useful and they're going to help me on the grind of this survival world. And finally I've got one more announcement. On Tuesday the 22nd of March 2022. Well obviously it's this year but... But a new a new SP will start, which I'm a part of. It's called the Daybreak SP, and I'm really excited to start playing on it. And that will be streamed at least once a week and uploaded, hopefully, a video once a week. Well, so these videos will be every couple of weeks, just like doing a big grinding project. So I hope you don't mind too much. Oh, wait, I also forgot. I built this mine, and it just goes all the way down to bedrock, but I have no use for it at the minute. Don't know why that's in there. I can go, but I do need to mine up a thousand diamonds since I did hit 1,000 subscribers, so you can expect that video sometime soon as well. But that will be the end of today's episode, thank you so much for watching, make sure to subscribe as we're getting kind of close to 2,000 subscribers now, thanks for all the recent support, I really do appreciate it, make sure to follow me on Twitter as well, I post some really cool things. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode, goodbye everyone.